This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Give it up for the notification squad. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want a chance to be featured, make sure you hit that notification bell and come show your girl some love when I drop a new video. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the highly requested Apray Gel X Nail Kit. I've gotten so many requests to do this and at first I was a bit hesitant because this is really expensive. <laughs> oh hell no! But for those of you who do want to see, I am trying this out today. It comes in this really nice faux patent leather case. And when you unzip it, it has all of your Apray items. This packaging is so pretty. I mean, it should be for $150. <laughs> all right, so in this kit, you get the pH bonder, primer, extend gel, the gel top coat, and you get a hand file. This is a 100 slash 180 grit. And this tiny nail lamp. This is so cute. Obviously it's for one finger at a time. So with this kit, you can choose what type of tips you wanna get. I chose to get the natural long stiletto tips. Here is the power cord for the nail lamp and instructions. So this is my first time trying out the Apray Gel X system and I'm going to need a prey to get through it. <laughs> get it? Get it? No? All right. <laughs> anyway, these are the instructions step by step telling you how to do it. Um, so the first thing I need to do is prep my nails. So these are my natural nails and I'm just going to take my cuticle pusher and push back my cuticles. And then I'm gonna use the opposite end to scrape up any of the dead skin that is on my nail. And of course, I do this with all of my nails. Next, taking my cuticle clean bit, I'm just gonna work this around the cuticle area. And this just further gets up any of the dead skin. And this is what's gonna make the nail extension last longer because it's not gonna lift, hopefully. All right, so after all of that, I'm gonna take the hand file on the 180 side and I'm just going to file down the length of my nails. They've gotten pretty long, so I just want to file them down because I don't want them to show you know, all this length through the clear tips. And then of course, I'm gonna use that same side of the file to buff away the shine from my natural nail. All right, so these are the Gel X nail extensions and they come in this box. Um, I forget how many, but it's a lot. <laughs> so on the top here, these are the numbers that kind of tell you what sizes that you know each one is, so you know where they go. So the difference between these nail tips and just regular tips is that these aren't plastic. They're made of soak off gel, so they're lightweight, but more durable than just your regular tips. So I think that's really cool. Um, that does explain why they do cost a little bit more. Um, so I'm just gonna find my sizes. Um, this one here is the size zero, and as you can see, it does fit my thumb very well. Um, I think I have fairly small fingers, and if you have fingers bigger than mine, you're gonna have a hard time finding your size. Um, these Apray tips does seem to run smaller, in my opinion. Um, because I'm in like bigger numbers than I usually am. Um, but anyway, once I find the size, I'm just going to make sure it does fit. And then I'm going to use a small drill bit to kind of roughen up the inside of the nail tip. Um, it doesn't matter which drill bit you use as long as it's small enough to fit inside of there. So after that, I'm going to take the pH bond and I'm going to apply that to all of my nails. And this is a dehydrator and it just makes sure that all of the oils are off of the nail. Next, I'm gonna go in with the primer and apply this to all of my nails as well. This is a non-acid primer. 
all right so this is the extend gel and it is soft gel in a bottle and i just want to show you guys how thick this is it is pretty thick but i think that is key that's just going to make sure that this is not going to flood your cuticles and slide all over the place so per the instructions you are to apply this to your natural nail as you would a base coat and i'm just going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds next i'm going to take some of that extend gel and apply that inside of the nail tip so it is kind of tricky um i didn't really know how much gel to add so i'm kind of just guessing here um so once i apply enough gel that i think is okay i'm just going to line it up with my cuticle and slowly press down trying to get out all of the air bubbles And I'm going to use my thumb to hold it in place and then cure it with the Apure nail lamp. So after doing a quick 10 second flash cure, I'm going to take my thumb off the nail and use the nail lamp and cure for the full 30 seconds, rotating the nail lamp on each side of the nail just to make sure all the gel is cured. And I saw this big fat air bubble <laughs> after I was done curing and that kind of really made me mad um, so yeah I'm going to try a different um, way to do this so instead of putting a coat of the extend gel on my natural nail I'm just going to apply to the tip and see if that you know spreads it just a bit better and I also am um, going to apply a little bit more gel um, just to make sure I have enough and don't get any air bubbles. So yeah, as you can see, I didn't apply any extend gel to my natural nail, just the tip. And I'm just going to line that up as I did before and slowly press down and keeping my thumb there as I flash here. And that was a little better. I did get a tiny bit of gel that um, squeezed out the side, but I will try to file that off later. But I do like the curve and the shape of the nail. I think they fit my nails pretty well. This process is a bit easy once you get the hang of it. I think because I use dual forms a lot, um, that is kind of what helped me with this. Um, but the one thing that I am having trouble with is I don't know how much gel to actually put inside the tip without getting spillage. Um, so that is something that, you know, you'll have to work on if you try this out. And also just the whole process of doing it on yourself. It is a bit cumbersome. Um, you have to do like this balancing act, holding the nail with your thumb. And then if you do get any spill out, um, wiping it away with like a wooden stick or something. So I don't think this is practical for yourself. Um, I mean, you can do it, but it is gonna be a lot harder. And I have another pesky air bubble. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then with this nail, I didn't apply enough gel. So I was trying to squeeze out all of the air bubbles and it just wasn't working. It was creating more air bubbles. So I just took this off and applied more gel and tried it again.
was especially difficult because I wasn't sure how I was going to hold this in place but I ended up using my index finger um, but that was even still difficult because I still had to wipe up any of the excess gel that was squeezing out so um, yeah the thumb was way more difficult than all the other fingers so I ended up just using my finger to wipe off that gel and um, just trying to hold this in place so I can get the lamp on. All right, so it was a bit difficult, but we made it. <laughs> These are all the nails on, and I do have some excess gel that kind of squeezed out on the side of my ring finger here. So I'm just going to use my hand file to try to file that off. And if you caught that, it popped off very quickly, but I was able to get that off. Just try to make sure to not get any of this on your skin. And to my surprise, they do feel lightweight and thinner, but they are pretty durable and I'm not able to easily bend these. Um, so I think they will last. All right, so because I am going to go in with a nail design now, I'm just going to use my buffer to buff away the shine from the nails just to make it easier to paint my gel polish on. All right, so I'm going to use this Madam Glam white gel polish and I'm just going to put some of the polish on my white towel here so I can access it easily for my nail art. And I'm using this nail art brush. This is a 20 millimeter nail art brush that I got from AliExpress. All right, so I am going to go for a Halloween inspired nail design here and I'm doing a spider web. So yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try again. As I've told you guys plenty of times, I am not that good with line work. It takes me so long to do, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try to do the spider web again. And I don't like that. <laughs> All right, so after wiping that off, I'm going to try again. Um, it's really hard for me to keep my lines straight and steady. So that is one thing that I have to practice on. And I also drank some coffee before I did this. So I was just extra shaky. And this just wasn't turning out the way that I wanted it either. So attempt number four. <laughs> It's a no. And at this point, I decided to switch over to the Poochie's Nails White Gel Paint. This is a bit thicker and right off the bat, I was able to see that my lines were much straighter and crisper. So I definitely needed something thicker because the gel polish was just too thin and was just kind of going all over the place. But yeah, I'm gonna take a few times to do this as well. <laughs> Wow. 
This is hard, y'all. I'm telling you, especially doing it on yourself and filming it. It's one thing to do it on yourself to get the line straight, but to also film it, like I have to keep my hand in the focus of the camera and it was just, it was just too much. <laughs> But it's finally turning out the way that I like. In any areas that I don't, I'm just going to use my cleanup brush to clean those up and redraw the lines. All right, I think that is it. So for my ring fingernail, I decided to do a smaller spider web and I really like the size of this one better. So yes, I ended up redoing my pinky nail again. Bruh. <laughs> but this is what the nails look like after all of the spider webs are on and I cured in my nail lamp. So now I'm gonna go in with this Joya Mia gel polish and this is a red gel polish that looks like gory blood. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dab some of that out on my towel. Taking a dotting tool, I'm just going to apply some dots and create my blood drips. And I felt like I went a little overboard with the drips, so you guessed it. I went ahead and wiped this off and I'm gonna do it again. I think we're doing drip nails, less is more, so I'm just gonna stick to three drips and then go from there.
after doing all of the drips, I'm gonna go in with my favorite top coat, which is the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I'm going to apply that to all of my nails. And before curing, I'm just gonna add a smidget of bling, just some tiny crystals, going for a little horror glam look. So after curing that, I went ahead and applied more top coat to the underside of the nails just to blend in any of that spillage that may have happened when I was putting the nails on. And it just makes everything nice and seamless. So the reason why I didn't use the Apre top coat is because I wasn't sure if that was gonna hold my crystals on and I hate when my crystals fall off. So I know my Poochie's Nails top coat is not gonna fail me, so that is why I did that. So after my final cure, I'm just gonna apply some cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I like how these turned out, even though they were a bit of a headache to do between the application and the line work. <laughs> but I think these turned out so dope. I love the trips and I just like the spider webs. I think this look came together very nicely. As far as the Apre kit, I do think it is a nice kit. Um, it is expensive. Um, as I stated, it is $150. Um, but you do get some high quality items. The nail tips are high quality. They are formed with gel, so that is a plus. Um, the gel product that you get, the, um, ex the Extend Gel and the Top Coat are high quality and you get a nail lamp. So you pretty much get everything that you need to do multiple full sets of nails. It is a bit challenging doing it on yourself, so it will take some practice to get used to doing it. Um, and you're also not able to fill these in, um, so you'll have to soak these off and apply new tips when you want to change your nails out. But it does say that these can last up to four weeks, so that is good. I won't be testing that out because I don't keep the same nails on for four weeks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do think this is a nice kit. I do see myself using this a little more often. I actually picked up some different shape tips to try out. If you guys are interested, I will leave the link down below. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.